ice cubes are burned directly. What is the principle? Actually the ice here is not real ice. But ice is flammable. Scientific name is natural gas hydrates. Because it looks like ice. Can burn. So it's called, fire ice. It uses water molecules to loosen up. And in low temperature and high pressure environment. Ice-like crystalline substance made up of methane molecules. Meet these points. Methane clathrates are common components of the shallow marine geosphere and they occur in deep sedimentary structures and form outcrops on the ocean floor. One cubic meter of fire ice can be converted to 164 cubic meters of natural gas and 0.8 cubic meters of water. Almost no residue after burning. Pollution is much smaller than coal and oil. Inexploited reserves of combustible ice. Very large and easily replaces other fossil materials. Enough for humans to use for 1000 years. Because of the abundant reserves of flammable ice. And very environmentally friendly. The nature of combustible ice mining. It is by heating or reducing pressure. To capture the methane gas released. Looks simple. In fact, it is very difficult. This requires very complex technology. A little carelessness during mining may leak methane into the air. It's not a joke to know that the greenhouse effect caused by methane 20 times stronger than carbon dioxide. And if you declare too much, it can change the physical properties of seabed sediments. Underground landslide event will happen. Affects the underground contestant system and destroys many other things. 2017. China wants to exploit large reserves of methane clathrate in the East Sea. Therefore, they deliberately encroached on the East Sea with the cow's tongue line. Aiming to take over this area rich in oil and gas. Ocharov is fighting the robot. This guy's name is Forpheus. It's completely different from the previous polishing machine. It is comparable to an athlete. This progress. Right in a very short time. Complete the three operations look, think and perform counterattack. Look. That's observing the position of the ping pong ball. Orpheus mimics the human visual system, equipped with cameras on the left and right sides. With a refresh rate of 80 times per second, capture the real-time position of the ping-pong ball. The next step is to evaluate table tennis. Motion tracking. Through artificial intelligence algorithm, calculate the speed and rotation of the ball. Accurately predict the running track. And in a very short time, give the command to shoot the robot arm. Time, direction, strength. All must be controlled at the same time. It still looks pretty good. Due to current artificial intelligence. Still a stub. The robot's ball skills are relatively average. If you want to fight it, you'll have to wait until it's done. Estimated to be quite a while. After watching this, I think you won't want to throw away your hair. It's so worth it. A bunch of hair can become a brilliant diamond. First grind the hair into powder. It is then purified in a high temperature vacuum. Get crystallized carbon, then use the hydraulic machine, squeeze them, and put it in the diamond incubator. Processed by high temperature and high pressure technology. Two weeks later, the time to witness the miracle has come. Crystal structure reorganization. The original diamond emerged from the cocoon. After cutting and polishing, shiny diamond is ready. Because everyone's hair is different. The color of the diamond is also different. Both yellow and blue are also available and the characteristics of synthetic diamond. No different from natural diamond. Even a jewelry expert. It is also difficult to distinguish. Beethoven's 10 hairs can form three brilliant blue diamonds.